Hello friends, welcome to Abacus Acumen for quick and sound learning. So in this tutorial, I will quickly show you how to convert the engineering stress strain curve to a true stress strain curve. So as a CA engineer, we always uh, we do this exercise up to in times uh, changing this uh, engineering stress strain curve to a true stress strain curve. So typically, uh, we receive the data from the lab uh, from the uniaxial test uh, data from the lab, and that is uh, provided or shared in the form of uh, uh, engineering stress strain curve. And uh, when we do a fe analysis and we need to and, uh, we also want to incorporate the material non into the fe model we need to fit this curve uh, in the form of uh, true stress strain curve and uh, that is the second step we'll be doing and in the last step so we need to change this uh, true stress strain curve to a effective plastic strain versus effective stress strain uh, stress curve so this is how it looks like and this will be the final input uh, or the the curve data that is xy data will be feeding into the abacus uh, input file or abacus uh, cae tool and there are uh, standard formula available for converting uh, the engineering stress strain curve to a true stress strain curve and before that just i will give you the the comparison of uh, the how the plot looks like so when we say engineering stress strain curve this is a black curve and it has a typical phenomenon of ultimate stress and then followed by the necking and the fracture at this point and when we change this black curve that engineering stress strain curve to a true stress strain curve so we we generally see a stiffer curve you know that is a blue curve which is a stiffer and it doesn't have a negative slope okay and uh, why we are getting this because uh, when we do you know when we consider this uniaxial test so when we talk about the engineering stress strain curve that is uh, totally calculated based on the original area and then we when we calculate the true stress strain curve so we'll be considering the reduced uh, cross section area at that instant or the, at that corresponding application of load value this is the nature of the curve what we get so coming back to the formulas so the true stress strain curve when we calculate that is the first step is to calculate the true strain and uh, the formula available is uh, this is a very standard formula you might have read in uh, your uh, basic engineering true strain is equal to natural log of 1 plus e so here e is uh, engineering strain and then once we calculate uh, the true strain we need to shift to the true stress values so true stress is equal to engineering stress multiplied by exponential of true strain so the, this true strain value will be using the one we calculated using this formula and once we do this uh, completely for this uh, true stress strain curve we will be calculating the effective plastic strain so effective plastic so when we feed into abacus or any fea model we need to feed it as a effective plastic strain versus stress so to do that we will be deducting the the, in, the elastic strain component from that uh, particular total strain and so by doing that we will be having a complete uh, a pure plastic strain available uh, data available to feed into a, a abacus model so once we do this exercise so this is in a one fit uh, curve we have this uh, engineering stress strain curve and then a stiffer curve which is converted to a true stress strain curve so this is the formula like when we talk about the true strain that is natural log on plus e and then followed by uh, the stress the true stress and you can see that when we convert this there will be a, a lag into the strain values so strain value will be re reduced and the stress the corresponding stress value will be go up when we talk about the two stress and curve which is a stiffer curve what it what you see generally so let i will quickly show you how to do it in a excel sheet excel sheet is excellent tool to do this ex exercise very fast and without any errors just for demonstration purposes i already have this data engineering strain versus engineering stress data and typically we have this uh, yield stress values this is for I will say mild steel and uh, and these are the engineering strain versus engineering stress data and let's convert it quickly and I will show you how to use this excel sheet okay so go to formulas and say insert function so we need to calculate the natural log as per the formula so select this natural log if this is not available you go to the maths and trigonometry option and then look for the natural log okay and the select data the engineering strain okay and then here you need to say here you need to say plus one 
that's it I'll simply drag this okay so we have the two strain is ready and then now we'll move to two stress so as per formula now we'll be looking at uh, the exponential component that is exponential function okay and exponential of uh, two strain yeah and then we will be multiplying with uh, engineering stress value yep so obviously that will be zero okay so this is you have to simply drag it so you get uh, the two stress values and now we need to deduct the elastic strain component from this uh, strain value so i will slightly i'll change now will be as i mentioned we need to shift this curve to uh, directly on y axis so by deducting the elastic strain component to do that so i will make some changes over here so we have let it this uh, zero zero so we have to start with the yield stress value so that is just can copy this value over here so just values yeah now we have to deduct the elastic strain component so this is minus again the same one so here i'll be putting a dollar so that it will be a constant for all other values zero then you simply drag it okay so here we go so now the effective plastic strain data is ready and you have to simply copy this corresponding values over here apply as values that's it so guys this data is ready and when we feed into a uh, abacus uh, input file it is in the form of stress versus strain that is all right so this is the form of data we need to feed so i will show you in directly in abacus c so just for for a demo i have this uh, material card uh, keyword ready so you have to just simply paste it over here so that's it so this data ready to use in your fe model so just say okay so of course we need to define the modulus and the uh, poisson's ratio into this uh, keyword and the same way if we want to edit the input deck so what i will do is i will simply insert another column okay that is a comma okay i'll just drag this all right so this is the data ready and sick sick copy and in the text pad okay just for under the star plastic uh, keyword you have to copy so all other information already i feed this is just for your demonstration how we can do it effectively and say insert okay insert as block so whatever we have this value now let's look at uh, the comparative curves uh, of this engineering stress to two stress strain curve how it looks like uh, in uh, xy plot so for that uh, i'm taking this data so this is a engineering stress strain curve stress strain curve and then i'll simply add this uh, for the true okay so this is how it looks like and then you can add uh, the the effective plastic strain or effective stress as well all right so this is how it looks like uh, this blue curve is uh, the engineering session curve and this red and the green which are overlapping in the two session curve okay so described before uh, the engineering session curve when we convert to two stress and core it 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 look it uh, it becomes more stiffer and uh, there is a 
no negative slope so that is again it is uh, consistent over here so guys this is uh, what i wanted to show in this uh, tutorial if you find this video useful please uh, do like us uh, this youtube video and uh, also subscribe our channel abacus acumen to keep receiving exciting videos thank you bye bye